My name is Alyssa and welcome or welcome back to my channel and happy back to school season My semester literally starts next week and I have not done any back to school shopping yet So we are going to do that today right now I'm on notion and I'm going to make my back to school shopping list because I don't want to buy anything that I don't need to buy Um school shopping is expensive. So things that I don't really need I honestly don't really need to buy notebooks I'm studying advertising and marketing and the only thing I really need is my laptop literally everything for every course is online I'm sure if you're studying like nursing or engineering or something like that it could be different you probably need paper to like make calculations or whatever but if you're studying marketing or anything like me I don't think you need a notebook I do carry around one notebook just in case I ever do need to write anything down but I have a bunch of unused notebooks here at home so I don't need to get any I also don't need any more stationery I have enough you guys know I have a lot um I need to stop so I'm not going to buy any stationery I am just going to use what I already have which is more than enough remind myself that I also don't need any pencil pouches I still have this one that that I can use again. I also don't need a new planner. I'm just going to use this one that I had from last semester, which is for 2024 anyway. So it goes all the way until December, which is when the semester is going to end for me. So I am fine with this. I usually like buying new planners to start like the new academic year, but this upcoming semester is going to be my last semester of school ever because my winter semester is an internship placement. So technically my academic year is going to end this December. So in my head, this planner is going to be a complete academic year. I don't know if that makes sense. It's a me thing but I'm not gonna need a new planner this year. I do want to buy some new highlighters. I have these from a pack and they're honestly like really good. I use the pink one and the green one and the blue one a lot, but I feel like everything else is a little too dark and it kind of makes the thing that I highlighted hard to read, which is like the opposite of the point. The ones that I do use, they're kind of dying. I've had these for like all of college so far. So I think it's fair for me to get a couple new ones. I'm only going to buy like the individual pieces. I don't like buying packs cause I never use all the colors, but I really need a pink one. So I use these more like around exam season when I'm highlighting a lot of things but even if I don't end up using it this school semester I use highlighters for my devotionals anyway so it won't go to waste I also really want a new school bag I've been wanting a new school bag for a while I don't actually have like a dedicated school bag I just kind of switch around between tote bags whenever I want but I really want to have like a dedicated school bag I want to make sure I get a bag that's good for like school and work because I have one semester left it has to be a tote bag I hate how backpacks look on me I just feel like most backpacks look too big on me and I end up looking like a turtle so I really hope to find a tote bag that is good for both school and work and that can carry my laptop For clothes, I really just want to find like basic tees and like tank tops that I can layer on so A lot of the clothes that I own are summer things like skirts and stuff And I always forget to shop for the colder seasons Plus the AC in my school is always blasting Like there's no point in buying like warm clothes Because even when it's warm outside, it's going to be freezing inside This year I'm on campus every single day So like it's less about dressing up and more about having like a realistic set of clothes that I can grab and wear. I also really 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 need a fall jacket. I always forget to buy a fall jacket and then every fall I remember that I have no fall jackets. Every time we're in transition weather, I'm either too hot or too cold. I forgot to mention this earlier, but I also wanted to find some new cases for my laptop and my iPad. So now that I have my shopping list more or less ready, let's go ahead and start back to school shopping. <laughs>
so I just got home from back to school shopping and I wasn't able to find everything that I was hoping to get today so right now I am doing some online shopping I'm scrolling through Amazon and Shein for some like electronic accessories the main things that I'm still looking for is like a laptop sleeve and a new iPad case and AirPod case I've had this iPad case for my iPad since like I got it which was I think four years ago or three it's just so dusty musty already like you can tell that it's so dirty like it's honestly embarrassing to pull out figured it was time to just let myself get a new ipad case and then my laptop is literally naked like this is so bad i have a few scratches on it already which i don't want my last laptop case was a clear case from amazon and it cracked like the week I got it. I still use it for like two years and it was so embarrassing because every time I pulled it out in class like the whole thing would fall apart every time and it was just so loud and one day I just like threw it out. So my laptop has just been like in my bag with no protection and I should really not do that. So I'm gonna find something for that too. And then I figured I may as well get an AirPod case as well. I just don't like how bulky this is. It's super cute. I just don't like how it's bulky. So yeah. day and right now I'm going to give you guys a haul of all the things that I got for back to school I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I tried to keep things on a budget um I don't know how well I stuck to the budget but I did try to be like minimalistic in the things that I got and I did also buy some secondhand things so like I saved money in that aspect as well which is great the first thing I'm going to show you guys are the things that I got from the K beauty store that I went to I got this moist emulsion from a brand called Sunjong um I literally oh it's from Etude okay anyway I honestly don't know much about this product or this brand but I bought one for my sister recently and we both used it and I kid you not like the next morning after I used this my skin was so soft and bouncy so I literally went back and got one for myself because I loved how it felt on my skin that much and this was the last one that was there so I'm so happy that I decided to go back because they were having a back to school sale and everything was like 20% off I picked up an extra pack of my sunscreen that I use this is the Isn't She Hyaluronic Acid sunscreen. My current one is like not even like halfway through yet, but since it's on sale, I'm technically saving money by getting it now than opposed to when I run out and it's not on sale. That's the logic that I use, so yeah. So these are the two things that I got in terms of like skincare for back to school. The problem with me for school air is that it literally dries me out so bad, so like my priority is always to moisturize my face. So, like this was super moisturizing and this is a hyaluronic acid sunscreen. So these are hopefully going to save my skin a bit during the school semester. The next brand is Aritzia and I actually didn't buy anything from the store. Everything is so expensive and I just can't justify spending that much right now because I am a broke college student. But I mentioned that I bought a few things secondhand and this is one of them. I got these gray TNA sweatpants and these were like $70 in store. I got this for $15 which is so amazing. It's 2XS, it fits me perfectly. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it's cuffed at the bottom. I prefer like wide leg sweatpants but they are pretty long on me as was everything that I tried on during this video. So when I put them on they kind of fold in and there's extra length so you can't really tell that it's cuffed too much but for literally less than half of what I would have spent in store like I'm super happy with this the next store that I bought from was H&M and honestly this is the only store that I bought from during the time that I went shopping I literally just bought a bunch of basic tees I got them in a bunch of different styles and colors just so that there's a bit of like variety still but something that I've really been loving is like the double lined material so the first shirt that I got is this gray tone short sleeve and this one is like a pretty deep u-neck and it has a little back as well and then i also got a white double lined t-shirt and this one has like a crew neck neckline thing these ones aren't double lined but i got a basic like black long sleeves because i have no long sleeves so i wanted to make sure that i bought some and then i got that exact same t-shirt in like a cream color as well I mentioned that I really 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 need to find a fall jacket and I didn't find any in like the stores that I went to because again they were all so expensive but I did order another jacket from Lucan that I've been wanting to get and I feel like that would be a perfect fall weather jacket so I decided to spend my money on that instead it was much more affordable but it's not here yet it's coming like next week but school is starting this Monday so it's not making it into this haul but I did also order that I ordered all of my electronics accessories from Shein the first one is just this clear airpod case that that I already started using. It just has a bunch of hearts on it and it's like clear with a blue tint. I don't know if it was from a YouTube video but I remember hearing that if you buy like clear accessories for like your electronics to make sure it has a sort of blue tint to it so that when it starts to get old and dirty it doesn't turn yellow but like more like a gray 
tone i don't know i'm not too sure but ever since i heard that i've been making sure that the things that i buy have like a blue tint to it this is the ipad case that i got it's super cute it has a bunch of bows and like flowers on it and then the back is clear it's perfect because it also has a little slot here on the side for my apple pen and this is a laptop sleeve that I bought for my Mac. It's like this white quilted kind of look with a bunch of black bows on it. And the padding is really nice inside, so it'll keep my laptop safe. And then I did also order a set of tank tops. I'm wearing the gray one right now. And it also came with a white one and two black ones. And I also bought a few more long sleeves. This one is in a cool gray tone. And I also bought this in black, which is what I was wearing in the beginning of this video. I really did my best to stay away from things that had like designs on it because I didn't want the things that I bought now to like go out of style in a few months and the last thing that i got which i am super super excited for is this long champ bag this is literally my dream tote bag i have been wanting to get this every back to school season and i always put it off i actually also got this second hand and it's in such good condition i was talking to the seller and she only used it for like one semester and then she decided that she wanted the larger size this one is medium and it fits my macbook 13 inch and i did not want to get the large because i felt like that would look too big on my body so i'm so so happy that i managed to find this second hand i feel like this is just the perfect bag i also picked up these two highlighters which is literally the only school supplies that i ended up buying in this haul which is so funny to me because i like to buy my pens from muji and i buy them like at the beginning of the year i went to muji and they were closed down they closed like the day before i went shopping which is so sad but whatever so yeah i went to walmart to look for some pens and like a pack of two was eight dollars so I have two highlighters. My school is pretty close to Muji, so once I'm back on campus, I'm probably just going to stop by Muji once I'm there. Um, but for now, I have these two highlighters. Honestly, worth it because these are such perfect shades of pink and purple, so I'm not going to complain. So that is it for this haul. I feel like it was super successful in terms of like me getting everything that I wanted and also not really spending too much on things that I don't really need. So I'm super happy with everything that I got and I'm like really excited to use these for the upcoming school year. The whole point of back to school shopping is to get yourself excited for the misery that is about to come so I did also mention that I have a bunch of notebooks and stuff already and this is the one that I'm going to use for this school year it's literally like a sample notebook for my work like when they were sampling designs it was just sitting there for like a year so I brought it home something that's like a cute little hack for back to school is like personalizing your things especially like if they're not necessarily new so that they feel new and sort of motivate you so that is what I'm going to do I have a bunch of stickers that I am excited to use on this I struggling right now. 